All right, folks, welcome to day three. Hope you're having a good day so far. Let's get our yoga on today. So 60 minute version of our original hot yoga class. And let's get started. Feet together, stand tall. Just start by thanking yourself for setting aside this time for you. Take care of yourself. We're gonna start with pranayama, standing deep breathing. Good for your lungs and your respiratory system. Inhale by your nose, exhale by your mouth, but all the time use your throat. Nose and mouth are just a passageway. Make your breaths nice and long, slow, and deep. Keep your feet together, heels and toes touch. Interlock your fingers, knuckles under your chin. Belly in, concentrate forward one point, and begin, inhale, head down, arms up, in by your nose, use your throat, Fill your lungs, maximum expansion capacity, hold it. Exhale, ha sound, chest up, head up. Look back, grip tight. All the air out, all the way out, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, arms up, stomach in, body weight on the heels. Concentrate straight ahead, full lungs, hold it. Exhale, head up, chest up, ha sound, out by your mouth. Look back, grip tight, all the air out, all the way out, elbows touch. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it at the top. Exhale, head up now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Elbows touch. Inhale, head down, arms up. So it's a six count. Synchronize the arms and the head. Fill your lungs, hold it at the top. Exhale, head up, chest up. Only the arms and the head move. Keep your shoulders down, stretch your elbows forward away from your body, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, arms up. Body weight stays on the heels, stomach in. Open your rib cage, full lungs, hold it. Exhale. Chest up, head up. Squeeze your butt a little bit, hips slightly forward, weight stays on the heels. Inhale. Concentrate straight ahead, full lungs hold it. Exhale. Elbows touch, hold it, inhale. Take in more and more, hold it at the top. Exhale. When you think your lungs are empty, exhale even more. Inhale. Just two more deep breaths. We're only doing one set of this breathing exercise. Fill your lungs, hold it. Exhale. Inhale. Take in a little more, hold it at the top. Exhale. And change. Alrighty, half moon pose with hands to feet pose. Feet together, heels, toes touch. Inhale, arms up over your head sideways. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, keep your palms tight, arms with ears. Hips forward, upper body back. Take a deep breath, full lung stretch up. Go right and left several times. Right and left, right and left, right and left. Start to feel stretching down both sides of your body, all the way up to your fingertips. Right and left, right and left. Check it in, seeing what's going on today. And stop in the middle. Hips a little forward, upper body back, weight on the heels. Leg strong, butt strong, abs strong, palms together. Deep breath, full lunge, stretch up, up, up and over to the right. Push your hips over to the left. Breathe and stretch. You're trying to create a tremendous stretch in the left side of your body. Feel it inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Hips forward, upper body back, weight stays on the heels, chin away from your chest, palms tight. Tiny bit left hip forward, two hips face front. Tiny bit right shoulder forward, open your chest. Stretch and push, and push, and push. Inhale, come on up. 
Stop at the top, hips forward, upper body back, weight on the heel. Inhale, full lung stretch up. And over to the left without bending your elbows or your knees. Continuously push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create tremendous stretch in the right side, fingers to toes. Feel it, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Okay, hips forward, upper body back. Weight stays rooted down on the heels. Little tiny bit right hip forward, keep those abs tight. Little tiny bit left shoulder forward, stretch and push. Come down and push, a little more push, push. Come on up and stop at the top. Time for your first back bend. Let your head go back, drop it back. Only look back now, take a deep breath, stretch up and bring your arms back. Push your upper body back. Keep looking back, point at what you're looking at. Keep the body weight on the heels, legs strong. Inhale, push stomach, legs, hips forward, arms back. Go back, way back, fall back a little bit more. Come on up, stop at the top, suck in your belly, bend your knees, hands down to the mat or the floor in front of you. Touch down, let your head hang heavy and move your hips right and left several times. Right, left, right, left, right, left to loosen up your hips and lower back. Shake it, shake it, wiggle it, wiggle it, up and down, up and down, bounce it, bounce it. Alrighty, here we go, hands to feet pose. Bend your knees a little bit, stomach on the thighs. And reach back behind, grab your heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. Baby fingers touch side by side. Wrap your arms back, elbows on your calf muscles, tight, tight grip, don't lose your grip. Pull your heels and stretch your upper body down from the lower spine toward the floor. Squish your stomach on your thighs, your chest on your knees. Bring your face in to touch your legs below your knees best you can. Breathe into the stretch you're creating in the backs of your legs. Feel it all over, inside out, bones to skin, roll forward, hips up, head down. Tremendous stretching in the backs of the legs, hips, lower back, whole spine. Eventually, top of the head all the way down on the tops of your feet, pull. <clears throat> Excuse me, roll forward, pull harder, lock your knees. Eyes open, breathing normal, lock your knees. Pull, lengthen your upper body down, try to lock your knees. And reverse your way out. Suck in your belly, arms with ears. Come on up. Alrighty, arms down, stand tall. We will do a second set now, feet together, heels, toes touch, half moon pose. Inhale, arms above your head sideways, interlock fingers, release index fingers, thumbs crossed, palms tight. Hips forward, upper body back, weight on the heels, legs strong. Deep breath, full lung stretch up, out of your waist and bend your body to the right without bending elbows or knees. Continuously push your hips to the left. Breathe and stretch, good. Create that stretch on the left side, fingers to toes. Keep your abs strong, legs strong, butt strong, weight on the heels, hips forward, upper body back. Tiny bit left hip forward, right shoulder forward, stretch, push. Come down, push, a little more. Come on up, stop at the top. Hips forward, upper body back, weight on the heels. Inhale, full lung, stretch up. Up and over to the left, hips to the right. Breathe and stretch. Create the stretch. You gotta make it happen, right? Feel it in the right side of your body. Feel it all over, inside out, bones to skin. Hips forward, upper body back. Palms are tight, arms with your ears. Little bit right hip forward, little bit left shoulder forward. Keep it in and in the good form, push, stretch. Come down, push. A little more push, push. Come on up. Second back bend, head back, let it go. Look back, only allow yourself to look back when you are backward bending, okay? Take a deep breath, stretch up, and arms back immediately. All right, push your upper body back. Keep the body weight on the heels. Keep looking back and point back even more. Lock your knees. Inhale, push stomach, legs, hips forward, arms back, point back, fall back, go back, come on up. 
All right, belly and bend your knees, hands down. Really hard to talk in a back bend. <laughs> Almost impossible. Touch down. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. <sighs> Let your head relax down. Here we go, hands to feet pose, bend your knees, grab your heels from behind, try to scoop them up from behind so your fingers point forward like your toes. Wrap your arms back behind your legs, elbows on your calf muscles. Get the best grip you can get, and let's do it. Pull your heels, stretch your upper body down. Stomach on thighs, chest on knees, face in on your legs. Roll forward, hips up, head down. Woo. Breathe into the stretch in the backs of the legs. Feel it all over inside out, bones to skin, stretching. Lengthen down like you're going to touch the top of your head onto the tops of your feet. Push your knees back, pull harder, roll forward. Can you lock your knees? Lock your knees and lock your knees. And reverse your way out of it, stomach in. Arms with ears. Come on up. And change. Stand tall. <clears throat> Alrighty, awkward pose, Utkatasana, right foot step to the right, six inches, insides of the feet parallel to each other, like capital letter H, keep the feet like that for all three parts of this posture, arms up in front of you, parallel to the floor, five fingers together, shoulders down, arms forward, triceps tight, suck in your belly, exhale, and boom, sit, feet flat, spine straight at the beginning, put 100% of your weight on your heels, stay low, Suck in your belly, tighten it up, hold it in, chest up, arch your upper body back. More weight on the heels now, lean back, fall back, go back, way back. Come on up. Focus forward one point, concentrate on it, don't even blink. Stand up on your tippy toes, maximum like a ballerina. Stretch your spine up, chest up, head up. Imagine I'm pulling your hair up. Bend your knees, sit down on the tops of your toes, knees up, heels up. High up on your tippy toes. Upper body back, back. Kick your heels up. Lift your knees up. Lift your chest up. Sit until your hips are in the chair. Not below the chair. Higher on the tippy toes, heels up. Knees up, chest up. Change it. Third part now, come a little bit up on your toes. Bring your knees together to touch. Inner thighs strong, take a deep breath. Slowly go down as if you're sliding down an imaginary wall behind you. You go all the way down that you can. All the way down. All the way down. All the way down. Good job going slow, John. Stretch your spine up, chest up. Bring your knees together and down. Thighs and arms parallel to the floor. Body looking like a box from the side. Keep those knees tight. Take a deep breath. And as slowly as you can, press yourself straight back up. Trying to lean back, keeping the knees together. Change. We will do second set. Take a breath, though. Let's try it again. Right foot out. Six inches between toes and heels. Feet like letter H. Arms up. Shoulders down. Arms forward. Triceps tight. Suck in your belly. Exhale. Sit. Feet flat. Weight on the heels, spine straight at the beginning, sit low. Keep those hips down low, suck in your belly, tighten it up, hold it in, chest up, arch your upper body back. Now lean back, keep those knees apart. You want six inches between your feet, your knees, and your hands. Chest up, lean back, fall back, way back. Come on up. Good. Stand up on your tippy toes. Focus one point. Don't even blink your eyes. Stretch up, head up and sit down on the tops of your toes. Knees up, heels up, high up on the toes, upper body back. Sit into the chair, kick your heels up, lift your knees up, lift your chest up, upper body back, higher on the tippy toes. Change it. All good, right? Little on the toes, knees touch. Take a deep breath, go down, slowly. So lean back and go down with control. Just do as much as you can. Here we go. All the way down, all the way down. Super nice. Stretch your spine up, chest up. 
tiny gap right now between your hips and your heels. Squeeze your knees together and down. Thighs and arms are parallel to the floor. He's super strong. Stomach in. Take a deep breath. And as slowly as you can, press yourself back up. Push your feet into the floor. Lean back. Knees together. Good. Change. Feet together. Arms down. Excellent. Eagle. Gavarasana. Inhale. Arms up. Remember which is the right arm. Bring right arm underneath left arm. Cross first at the elbows. Cross again at the wrists. Thumbs are towards your nose. Baby fingers away from your face. Pull your elbows down. Just doing as much as you can, folks. So crossing at the elbows is first. And then if you can't quite get the hands to cross, it's okay. Do as much as you can. Pull it down. Sit in the chair. Stay low with the hips. Suck in your belly. Chest up. Right leg over the left. Cross to a squeeze. Put right foot under calf muscle. Sit low, squeeze tight. Stomach in, chest up. Not just sinking, but really squeeze your legs together. Super strong. Tiny bit knees right, upper body left, chest up. Pull your elbows down, upper body back. Hold it. Change. Come on up, arms up. Now remember which is your left arm. Bring left arm under right. Cross, twist, pull your elbows down. Sit in the chair. Low, 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 low. Stomach in, chest up. Left leg over right. Foot under calf muscle, maybe. Just doing as much as you can. Sit a little lower, twist a little tighter. Suck in your belly, chest up. Knees left, upper body right. So you have feet, knees, elbows, and hands in a straight line. Sit even lower. Squeeze even tighter. Upper body back. Change. Come on up. Second set. Right arm now, under left. Shoom. Pull your elbows down. Sit in the chair, stomach in, chest up, right leg over left, thigh over thigh, as high as you can, cross twist, squeeze, sit low, squeeze tight, pull your elbows down, breathe, feel the compression in your joints, feel it in your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, your hips, your knees, and your ankles, getting everything warmed up, ready, chest up, upper body back, change, arms up. Left arm under right, cross twist. Remember thumbs are towards your nose, pull your elbows down, sit down in the chair. Eventually your fingers go below your nose. Stay low, chest up, left leg over right. Cross twist, squeeze. Sit low, squeeze tight. Knees left, upper body right. Pull your elbows down, chest up, upper body back. Hold it, change it. All right, folks, it's party time. Grab a quick sip of water if you would like one. Just me. <clears throat> I'm not talking. I have the space heater blowing on me, <laughs> drying out my mouth, all right. But it feels so good. Anything, I'll take it. Okay, here we go. One strong set of each posture now. Here we go. Feet together. Standing, balancing postures. Head to knee pose. Focus one point ahead of you. Maybe about waist high, or if you don't have a wall, focus one point on the floor, about 10 feet away. Shift your weight over your left leg, suck in your belly and grab your right foot in front of you. All 10 fingers interlock at the ball of your foot. Chin up, focusing on your point. Concentrate. Make sure your left leg is locked, solid, concrete, like a lamppost, unbroken, no knee. Distribute your weight evenly across your left foot. Suck in your belly. Hold it in. Slowly and gently, right leg lift up. Stretch it forward. Breathe. Right leg comes up parallel to the floor. Left knee locks solid. Deep breath. Heel out, toes in. Flex your foot back toward your face. Try to get both legs locked like an upside down L. 
Breathe into that stretch in the backs of the legs. If both legs lock, then you bend your elbows down. Elbows touch your calf muscles. And eventually elbows go below the calf muscles. If elbows are below calf muscles and still you can balance, body down, head down, tuck your chin to your chest. Put your forehead on your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Reverse your way out, stand tall. Try to keep your eye gaze fixed on your point. Plant your right foot down, shift your body weight over to your right leg. Right leg strong, solid, concrete, belly in. Grab your left foot in front of you. All 10 fingers interlock at the ball of your foot. Chin up, focusing on your point. Right knee locked, solid, concrete, lamp post. Squeeze your right thigh muscles. Distribute your body weight evenly across your right foot. Slowly and gently, right, left leg lift up, stretch it forward until left leg comes up parallel to the floor. Maybe it doesn't lock out, that's okay. Doing as much as you can. Heel out, toes in, flex your foot back toward your face. Tremendous stretching under the legs, cramps on the thighs. Both legs lock solid, elbows down. Elbows touch your calf muscles. Eventually, elbows go below. And if still you can balance, body down, head down, tuck chin, forehead to knee, lock your knee and lock your knee and lock your knee some more. Reverse, change. Hands on hips, quick mini back bend if you like. Standing bow pulling pose, feet together. Right hand out, palm up, elbow in, hand to the right. Pick up the right foot, holding it from the inside at the ankle. All five fingers together. Keep the thumb included. Left arm up. Stretch up. Touch your knees together to start. Focus one point straight ahead. Take a deep breath. Begin. Charge your body forward as you simultaneously kick your right leg back and up behind you. Bring your body down from the lower spine so your abdomen and chest come parallel to the floor. Keep kicking. Don't stop kicking. Right shoulder back, left arm forward. Shoulders stretch apart. Kicking and stretching are equal, simultaneous, 50-50. The harder you kick into your hand, the easier it is to balance. Don't stop kicking, kick back, kick up. Kick hard, kick strong. Breathe by your nose. Feel your left leg locked out nice and strong. Kick up, head is straight, body is straight. Kick hard, kick and kick. One more time, kick. Change it, feet together. Other side, left hand out, palm up to the left. Pick up the left foot behind you, holding it from the inside of the ankle. Five fingers stay together. Focus your eye gaze, one still point. Right arm up, stretch up. Touch your knees. Take a deep breath. Begin. Charge your body forward as you kick your left leg back and up. Breathe. Bring your body down. Abdomen and chest parallel to the floor. Kick hard. Breathe, head is straight. Focus on your one point. Kick, left shoulder back, right arm forward. Shoulder stretch. Kicking and stretching are equal. Simultaneous, 50-50. The harder you kick, the easier it is to balance. Come down, kick back. Stretch forward, kick up. Kick hard into your hand. Separate your heel from your backside, kick. Kick up, kick strong. Kick hard, kick more. One more time, kick. Change. Balancing stick. Step to the back of your space. Feet together. Heels, toes touch. 
nice and short, strong posture. Feet together, inhale, arms up, interlock fingers, release index fingers, thumbs cross, palms tight, arms with ears. Deep breath, stretch up, right leg forward, a big step. Lock your knees, point your toes, and hinge down like a seesaw coming down parallel to the floor. Chest down, leg up. Chin forward, look forward, stretch forward. Lock your knee and point your toes. Get your leg up. Stretch your body apart in opposite directions like a tug of war right now. Stretch more, stretch more, stretch. Inhale, come up. Step back, take a deep breath. Left leg, step forward, a big step. Put all of your weight there. Point your back toes, lock your knee and hinge, body down, leg up. Like a seesaw, the upper body only comes down as much as the leg goes up. So your body's like a plank of wood. Leg up, chin forward, look forward, stretch forward. Lock your knee, point your toes. Stretch your body apart in opposite directions. A tug of war right now, stretch, 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 stretch. Change it, come on up. Alrighty, stand tall. Awesome. Separate leg postures, one strong set of each. We're gonna step forward so that we can step sideways on our mats to the right. Alrighty, feet together. Nice, John. Minor adjustment. Standing separate leg stretching. Inhale, arms up. What's wrong? Right foot step to the right. Arms parallel to the floor, pigeon toe feet. Plan for the couch. Chin up, deep breath, bend your body down, chin forward, good. Grab your heels from the outsides, five fingers together. If you cannot reach your heels, try to grab the outsides of the feet. If you cannot reach your feet today, hands on the mat in front of you or the floor. Doing as much as you can without forcing. Lock your knees now, contract your legs, right? Thigh muscles tight, legs straight, legs strong. Breathe into the stretch in the backs of your legs. If your knees are locked out, you can add the pull. Pull your body down from the lower spine toward the floor, chin forward, roll forward, pull. Breathe, backs of your legs stretch, hip stretch, lower back, whole spine stretches. Eventually, you have your forehead on the floor in between your feet. Roll forward, hips up, head down, lock your knees. Lock your knees, pull, roll forward, lock your knees, touch your forehead on the floor if you're close. Change it, arms out, belly in, come on up. Step back and arms down. Breathe. Triangle, feet together, heels, toes touch. Inhale, arms up, right foot step out to the right, huge step, arms down parallel to the floor, hips forward, arms back, chest open. Turn your right foot out to the right. Make that right foot all the way pointing to the right. Take a deep breath, bend the right knee, sit on the right side. So squeeze your inner thigh muscles. You wanna sit down low enough so that you have a 90 degree angle under your right knee. Knee over the foot, arms back, chest open, deep breath. Move your both arms at the same time. Place your right elbow in front of the right knee, not too low, not too high. Reach your right fingers toward the big and second toe. It's okay if they don't touch. But if they do touch, no weight resting down at all. Look up, chin to the left shoulder. Stretch your arms up and down in opposite directions. Push your left hip a little bit forward and down. Push your right knee back with the help of your elbow. Turn or twist your upper body back to open your chest. Think up, body up. Lock the left knee, squeeze your inner thigh muscles. Press your feet into the floor, stretch up, and inhale, come up. Arms, straighten the leg, right toes forward, left toes out. Deep breath. Bend knee, sit, sit, sit. You can push the right hip a little forward and down if you need. Sit down low, arms back, chest open, take a deep breath. Move your both arms at the same time. Elbow in front of the knee, not too low, not too high. Reach the left fingers to touch in between the big and second toe, look up. 
chin on your right shoulder, look up past your right thumb toward the ceiling. Stretch your arms up and down in opposite directions, keep the hips low. Right hip a little forward, left knee a little back, belly in, abs super strong, twist your upper body back. Breath calm, face calm, body working hard, right knee left, press your feet on the floor, stretch up, come up, change. Alrighty, feet together, arms down, take a breath. All right, standing separate leg, head to knee pose. Yeah, John's gonna step away so I can step sideways for this one, feet together. Inhale, arms up. For this one, palms together, just the thumbs crossed. Arms stay with the ears. Right foot step to the right, a three foot step. Pivot on the heels, face the right. Twist your hips so your hips also face the right side. Belly in, tuck your chin, exhale, you go down. Curl down, forehead to your right knee. Bend the right knee up if you need. Forehead and knee touch. Hands beyond your toes, arms straight, wrist straight. Push your fingers into the floor. Shift your weight a little forward to the right foot, right hip up. Level your hips to the floor. Lock your knee if you're able. Maximum front side compression is what you want. Lock your knee. Come on up. Face the side as you come up. Face the front. Face the left. Twist hips, twist, 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 twist. Belly in. Exhale, curl on down. Look up at your chest or your stomach. You have to suck it in the whole time. So if you're looking at it, it helps you remember. Hands beyond toes, arms straight, wrist straight. Forehead to left knee, bend the knee if you need. <clears throat> Forehead knee touch. Shift more weight forward to the left foot, left hip up, stomach in. You want the compression. It is not supposed to be comfortable. You can do it. Push your knee back. Lock your knee, almost done. Change it. Facing the side, slowly come up. Face front change. Come on back. Thank you. Tree pose. Here we go. Tree pose. Stand tall. Look straight ahead. Find one still point to concentrate on. Focus there. Shift your weight over to your left leg. Plant that left foot down. Right foot up. Way up high on your left thigh. Hold it with the left hand from underneath. Gently allow your right knee to go down and back. You can't force it. Your knee might need to stay up. That's okay. But over time, as the hips and pelvis open, the knees work into one line from the side. Stomach in, chest up, stretch up, head up. Hips are level to the floor, shoulders are level to the floor, chest is lifted. Right hand center of your chest. If you're able to stay with the foot without holding, bring left hand to meet right. But if the foot slips, it's better to hold the foot. Chest up, stretch up, grow tall, change. Feet together. Other side, focus on your point. Plant that right foot down. Right leg strong. Pick up the left foot. Pull it up high on the, left, on the right thigh. Up into the hip crease if you can. Hold it with the right hand from underneath. Gently left knee down and back. Belly and chest up, stretch up, head up. Hips are level to the floor, shoulders are level to the floor, chest is lifted. First left hand center of the chest. Maybe right hand can meet it, but if foot slips, hold the foot. Grow a little bit taller here, stretch up. Change. Next is toe stand. To start toe stand, look at the floor, four feet in front of you, one still point, focus there. Right foot up, put it on the left thigh, wherever it feels best for you for today. Hands in prayer, if you're able, bend forward at your waist, reach for the floor. If all 10 fingers can touch down, you can lean into the fingers, gently bend your knees, slowly sit down on your heel. Focus on your point on the floor the whole time. Balance with your fingertips to your sides. 
Belly in, chest up, stretch up. Try to get your knees in line parallel to the floor. Think I'm pulling your hair up. First left hand to the center of your chest, then maybe right hand to meet it. Lift up. And hands on the floor, reverse your way out. Or you can always just push your foot off of your leg and do an emergency release. Come up however you can. Try to keep your eye gaze steady, two feet down. Focus on your point, other side. Body weight to the right leg, left leg, left foot up. Pull it on that right thigh wherever it feels best. Hands in prayer. Bow down at your waist. If your 10 fingers can touch down, lean into it a little bit, gently bend your knee, slowly sit on your heel. Walk your fingers to your sides, balance in your fingertips. Belly and chest up, head up, stretch up. Try to get the two knees in one line parallel to the floor. Point your left toes. Head up. First left hand up center. Maybe right hand up to meet it. Think up. Chest up. Grow tall. Hands on the floor. You can push up or come up however you can. Alrighty, folks. Good job in the standing series. We are on the floor now. Lie down. All right, folks. So lie down flat with your heels together touching. Let your feet relax open. Maybe your heels separate a little. It's okay. Arms in close, palms up. Eyes open, chin slightly tucked. Take a deep breath. And exhale, relax on the floor. Another deep breath. Exhale, let it go. Notice how with every exhale, you can relax a little bit more. With every exhale, you can let your body get a little bit heavier on the floor. Notice all the sensations in your body. No need to analyze them or put names on them. Just noticing how awake and alive every part of your body feels working inside out, top to bottom. Alrighty, one more deep breath. And exhale, let it go. And it's time to start our floor postures. We start with wind removing pose now. Right leg up. Tight 10 finger interlock grip, couple of inches below the knee. Pull your right knee to your right shoulder, avoiding your rib cage. Keep the left leg on the floor, calf muscle down. You could point your left toes up to the ceiling if that helps you to keep that leg down. But make sure the right leg is relaxed, the arms do the work. Pull your knee to your shoulder. Pull a little bit extra. Feel it in the right hip, pressure on the right lower abdomen, hold it. Change, right leg down, left leg up. Tight grip, 10 fingers interlock, right below the knee, pull the left knee to the left shoulder, avoiding the rib cage. Make sure right leg is on the floor, calf muscle down. You could point your right toes to the ceiling. Left leg, left foot relaxed, elbows in close, shoulders on the floor. Pull a little bit extra. Feel it in the left hip joint. Hold it. Change. Left leg down, both legs up. Grab opposite elbows over your knees. Hug yourself in tightly. Head on the floor. Tuck your chin. Eyes open. Breathe. Relax your feet side by side. Relax your hips, relax your shoulders. You do not want to let yourself become a little ball of tension here. Breathe, visualize your spine flattening down onto the floor. Look down the center line of the body. 
top of the neck down to the tailbone eventually flat in this position change legs down arms down heels touch toes apart arms in close palms up relax so now that we're on the floor we get a short little break in between most postures you just try to relax fully in that time and next we have our first sit up. Toes, heels, touch, feet, flex, legs solid, heels stay down. Arms up, thumbs crossed, arms stay with your ears. Inhale, sit up, grab toes, forward to knees, elbows to floor with a double exhale. Turn around, lie on your belly now. Here we go, four postures on the belly to strengthen the back muscles and improve flexibility in the spine. First, cobra, chin out, hands under shoulders, palms flat. Fingertips in line with tops of the shoulders, baby fingers in line with deltoids. Glue the hands flat. Zip up your legs like a cobra tail, squeeze your butt, keep the tops of the feet on the floor. Inhale, breathing, look up, lift your upper body up off the floor, use 100% of your back strength, look up, lift up halfway only. Belly button on the floor, rest of the upper body in the air, eyes up. Elbows in close to the body. Elbows reach for the hips, pulling the shoulders down. Trapezius muscles visible in front of you. Eyes up, lift up, come up, hold it up, way up, high up, and down. Look to your right, put your left ear flat on the floor. Take a deep breath, arms down side, relax. 100% relax. Next is locust pose. So arms straight under your body, palms down. Hand fingerprints down on the mat. Bury your elbows underneath your body. Spread out your fingers wide apart. Grab the floor. Chin out. Look forward. Relax your left leg on the floor like jello. Lock your right knee. Point your right toes. Stretch your right leg back and up. Lift up. Come straight up. Bring the weight forward into the right shoulder. Relax the left leg on the floor. Lift up, come up, stretch your right toes back. We'll come up one more inch, hold it up and down. Relax the right leg now. You are not going to use it for leverage. Lock the left knee, point the left toes. Stretch your left leg back and up. Come on up. Bring the weight forward into your left shoulder. Knee lock, pointed toes, lift up, come up, stretch the toes back, lift up a little higher, hold it up, way up, down. Now, mouth down, keep your face turned in for this part. Readjust your arms if you need, spread the fingers wider, grab the floor. Here you go. Lock your both legs, heels, toes, touch, keep the legs strong, take a deep breath, both legs lift up off the floor at the same time. Struggle for it. Don't you give up. Shift your body weight forward. Shoulders down, lift up. Grab the floor with your fingers. Get your legs up, thighs up. Come up, hold it up, way up. And gently lower down. Let your arms come out to your sides. Look to your left. And relax. 100% relax. I know. Sometimes after that posture... You feel like your elbows or your wrists just broke. It is a really good stretch for the elbows and wrists, so don't be afraid of it. Over time, things open up and it will feel differently. All right, here we go. Full locust pose, chin out, arms out to your sides, airplane wings, palms down. I think you could stay, whatever you want. <laughs> I'll try not to poke you. Squeeze your legs together, lock your knees, point your toes. Inhale, breathing, look up and fly, everybody. Arms, body, and legs, everything up off the floor except your hip bones. Pretend you are a 747. Take it off, look up, and lift up. Squeeze your legs together, legs up, thighs up, arms up, fingers higher than the top of your head. Go up a little higher, hold it up, and down. Look right, arms in, relax. Yes, just relax. 
So you have to tell your body you no longer need to keep those muscles tense, the ones that were working in the posture. You turn it off. Letting your body start each posture from a nice neutral position. Here we go, bow pose, bend your knees, grab your feet from the outside, it's a couple of inches below the toes. Five fingers together, arms and wrists straight, knees and feet six inches apart. Inhale, breathing, slowly and gently, both legs kick back and up behind you. Look up and kick up, yeah, you do it. Kick hard, kick strong, breathe. Hold with your fingers so your wrists can be straight. Wrist straight, pointed toes, toes out a little bit, knees in a little bit, kick up, kick strong, kick hard, kick a little more, and gently lower it down. Look left, relax. Alrighty, push up, come toward the front of your space so that you have room behind you, and kneel down, fixed firm pose. Open up your feet and sit between your heels. Hips are on the floor between your heels. Make sure you're not sitting on your feet. Your feet point straight back behind you. You can open up your knees if you need. Hands on the feet, thumbs inside, fingers outside. If it's a lot on the knees right now, just stay here or ease up a little bit. You, if your knees are screaming at you or your feet are screaming at you, you can't force it, okay? You have to honor that. If you're ready for more, right elbow to the mat, left elbow down. And at every step, you can always stop. Head on the floor if you're ready for more, back of the head, then shoulders. If your shoulders are relaxed on the mat, then arms come up over the head, pull the elbows down, lift the chest, tuck your chin, breathe by your nose. Eventually, you're gonna bring your knees back together again, but the knees must stay down on the mat. If your knees are popping up, that's a sign that you're pushing it too far for your body. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, relax. One more time, deep breath, let it go. Hands back to feet, reverse your way out, come up, and then turn right around, lie down on your back, savasana, right away. Take a deep breath and relax. You try to transition quickly to savasana so you get the most stillness in your yoga practice. All right, here we go. Strong sit up, toes, heels, touch feet, flex like solid, arms up, thumbs crossed, arms head together, deep breath. Sit up, grab toes, forehead to knees, elbows to the floor, turn around, half toward it. This time kneel down toward the back of your space, you have room forward. Sitting on your heels this time, knees together, feet together, tops of the feet are down. Inhale, arms up over your head sideways, palms touch, thumbs crossed, chin up, belly in. Exhale, go down front side. Forehead to the mat, baby finger edges to the mat, but the rest of the arms are in the air. Stretch your arms forward as you stretch your hips back. Breathe and stretch, good. Breathe and stretch. So it should feel a little bit of a tug of war here, like your shoulder blades, your scapula are coming out of your body. Two lines of stretching, fingertips to shoulders and neck to tailbone, stretch. Then with your next big inhale, reach forward, belly in tight, come up, 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 all the way, arms down, and quickly turn around, lie down, savasana. Take a deep breath, exhale, let it all go. So savasana is your chance to tune in, notice what's going on. Strong sit up now, toes, heels, touch feet, flex legs solid, heels down, arms up, thumbs crossed, arms head together, inhale, sit up, grip toes, <laughs> oh, my feet did not want to stay down that time, camel time, here we go, stand up on your knees, six inches between your knees and your feet, tops of the feet are on the floor, I'll go sideways, 
All right, here we go. Hands on hips, fingers pointing down, thumbs on the outsides. You're fine. Okay. Take a deep breath. Relax your head back, look back, go back halfway and stop in the middle. It's fine if you want to stay here. If you're ready for more right hand, right heel, left hand, left heel, thumbs outside, fingers in, palms down. Hold on tightly, take a deep breath. Exhale, push, stomach, legs, hips forward. Open your chest. Open your rib cage. Create a whole spine back bend. Not just lower, but lower, middle, upper, back. Push, hips forward, push. One hand at a time back to the hips. Chest up, head up. Turn around, lie down on your back, <laughs> right away. Deep breath, relax. Notice how your body responds to each posture. Strong sit up. Toes, heels, touch feet, flex, legs solid, heels down. Arms up, thumbs crossed, arms head together. Take a deep breath. Sit up, grab toes. Forward to knees, double exhale. Turn around for rabbit. I'll sit a little sideways again. Kneel down, sitting on your heels this time. If you're, use, if you're sweaty and you're using a towel, put a towel over your feet. Otherwise, just grab your heels. Thumbs outside, fingers inside. If you have the towel, you're just grabbing over the towel. Tuck your chin, suck in your belly, pull your heels, exhale, breathing, you go down, front side. Forehead to your knees, automatically top of the head touches the floor, hips up, roll forward like a wheel. Arms straight, elbows straight, hips up, stomach in. The head is on the floor, but not much weight in your head at all. Pull hard on your heels, stomach in tight, hips up. Shoulders up away from your ears, heels together, Press the tops of your feet down onto the floor. Hips up, stomach in, stretch your spine top to bottom, hips up, hips up. And slowly uncurl, head up last. Turn around, lie down, savasana, as quickly as you can. 100% relax, melt away. Strong sit up, toes, heels, touch feet, flex like solid, arms up, thumbs crossed, arms head together, deep breath. Sit up, grab toes, spin around now. It's time for head to knee with stretching pose. Right leg out to the corner, left leg bent, legs open about a 90 degree angle, left foot against right inner thigh. Arms up over your head sideways, turn right, grab your foot. 10 fingers interlock at the ball of the foot, tuck the chin, forehead to your right knee. So if this isn't happening, you bend your knee, get the forehead and knee to touch. Roll in a little bit to your left side, left shoulder down, elbow down, knee down. Square your body off over the right leg. Roll in, stomach in, head closer to the forehead. Yeah, head closer to the stomach. Roll in, roll in. Change. Come up, switch. Left leg out, right leg in, foot against inner thigh, stretch up. Turn left, grab foot, pull toes, tuck chin. Forehead to left knee, bend the knee if you need, get the contact, get the compression, roll into the right, right shoulder down, elbow down, knee down, suck in your belly, head closer with your belly, push your knee down, roll in, roll in, change it, come up, both legs go forward, lie down, take a deep breath, sit up, grab big toes, with the first and second fingers, your peace sign fingers, grab the big toes. Pull the toes toward you, walk your hips back 10 to 15 times. Walk it back, walk it back, walk it back, walk it back, walk it back. You're trying to lock your knees. Angle your pelvis forward a little bit. 
If your knee's locked out solid, pull your body down from the lower spine. If your knees don't lock out solid, you keep working on that. You really don't need to pull if your knees are not locked because the act of trying to lock them is going to give you the stretch you need. Once the knees lock, you have to pull to get more stretch, right? So it's all about what your body needs today. Eventually you come down, stomach to thighs, chest to knees, head to toes, lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Change it, turn around, lie down, savasana. It's okay. We're a little close. Alrighty, strong sit up, toes, heels, touch feet, flex, legs solid, arms up, thumbs crossed, arms head together, deep breath, sit up, grab toes, spin around, spine, twist, bend your left knee down on the floor in front of you, put your right foot over your left knee, corner foot flat, make sure two hips sit on the floor, you are not sitting on the left foot, bring your left arm up and over your knee, Push your knee back with the hub of the elbow. Grab the knee on the floor. Knee, hand, heel, three things, same spot. Chest up. Wrap right arm behind your back. You can grab for the left inner thigh with the fingers or keep the hand on the floor behind you for support with the fingers pointing away from you. Chest up, spine straight. Look over the right shoulder. Twist your body right side. Every inhale, chest up. Every exhale, look back, twist. Feel your spine twisting from the top to the bottom. Look back, twist, twist, twist. Nice and easy, untwist. Switch your legs, right knee down, left foot over it. Two hips sit on the floor. Point your right toes back. Right arm up and over, push your knee back. Grab the knee on the floor, inhale, chest up. You can wrap your left arm behind your back, grab for the right inner thigh with the fingers, or keep the hand on the floor behind you, fingers away from you. Chest up, spine straight like a pole coming out of the floor. Look over left shoulder, twist body, left side. Every inhale is an opportunity to lengthen up and straighten the spine a little longer. Every exhale is an opportunity to twist a little bit more. Feel your entire spine twist from the top to the bottom. Keep going, twist, twist, twist. Nice and easy, untwist. Lie down, relax, savasana. Melt away. Here you are, final sit up, let's do it. Toes, heels, touch, feet, flex, legs solid, arms up, thumbs crossed, arms head together, deep breath. Sit up. <laughs> final breathing exercise. Kneel down, facing forward. You're gonna blow out by your lips very quickly in this one, pulling the belly in and out. Focus on the exhale, the inhales will happen automatically. <clears throat> so sit up, chest up, arms straight, belly relaxed, Buddha belly. Swallow, concentrate one point, and begin. And that's it. Thank yourself for all your hard work. Turn around. Lie down on your back for your final savasana. So good. Let everything go. You just worked your whole body. Inside out. Top to bottom. You want to give yourself at least a couple of minutes of stillness to let your body just make sense of what you just did. Remember, you do get a lot of the benefits 
here in your stillness. So take your time. Use your breath to help you relax. Every exhale, a chance to get heavier on the floor. And then you go ahead and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining. Namaste. Namaste.